The first time a user runs OpenAM, they must sign in with a GrabCAD account. To create new packages, upgrade software, and compare packages, a user must also have an OpenAM license attached to their GrabCAD account. After signing in, either choose the correct GrabCAD company that has the OpenAM license, or run the software in demo mode. The first step in the OpenAM workflow is to create a new profile. To do this, simply click Add and give the profile a name, and then start selecting from the drop-down menus. Profiles can be created for Stratus as preferred, Stratus as validated, and non-Stratus as materials using the generic profiles. Since I am working with a non-Stratus as ABS-like material, I will use the generic ABS profile as my starting point. All drop-down selections must be completed before the profile can be saved and tuned. Notes can be added to profiles and are commonly used to clarify the profile use, specific parameter adjustments made, and version tracking. Click Save when the profile is ready to be saved. When an existing profile is selected, the name and notes can be edited, it can be cloned to create a new profile, or it can be deleted if no longer needed. Now that you've created a profile, you can either double-click the profile name or select the profile name and click Tune to open the profile in the tuning screen. This brings us to the tuning screen. As you navigate through the five different tabs, you can see the visual aid in the top right corner change to show the area of the part that is being modified. In this example, I know I want to change the extruder temperature and unload temperature to 300 degrees. I also want to increase the flow factor for the solid fill because the rasters aren't measuring the correct width and there are gaps between adjacent rasters. Once the desired changes are made, navigate to the sets screen. Sets are a collection of unique profiles designed to allow users to easily compile multiple profiles into one upgrade package at the same time. To create a new set, click Add, give the set a name, and then click Add Profile. From the list of available profiles, select one profile at a time, and click Add Profile. Keep adding profiles until all the desired profiles are added. Click Close and Save when done. The next step is to click Compile and wait for the package to be returned from the servers. Make sure you maintain internet access during this compile step. Now we'll go to the Upgrade screen to upgrade GrabCAD Print and or Insight and the Fortis 450 MC we are using. Once in the Upgrade screen, you can view information about the package, like the material package version, which shows up in GrabCAD Print, Insight, and the printer when they have been upgraded, the version of GrabCAD Print, Insight, and printer software the package was created for, as well as the different profiles that are within the package. From the Packages list, select the package that you want to use and select the software to upgrade. Note that only a machine that has the OpenAM license and that has been placed in upgrade mode is able to be upgraded in OpenAM. Click Upgrade. Now let's go to the Compare screen to compare two packages. In the compare screen, users can compare parameter differences between two packages, two sets, or a package and a set. This can help to determine what, if anything, is different between them as well as showing if the parameters are different from the default values. To compare, simply select two packages and navigate through the modified parameters, either using the drop-down arrows or the navigation arrows placed between the two packages. There is a default package included to make comparing modified parameters against the original values easier. 
When comparing two sets or packages, only parameters that differ from each other are shown. Additionally, parameters that are different from default are highlighted yellow. Thanks for watching the OpenAM software overview video. To download OpenAM for free, go to stratasys.com and search for OpenAM or click the direct link in the video description. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to your Stratasys reseller. For more helpful videos, be sure to check out the training videos available on the Stratasys Academy YouTube channel.